Oh, hi, I'm Mina Sam. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing the Tales of Biseria Velvet Crow figure released by Kotobukiya. As you guys can see, I was way too excited. I already cut the tape that you'll find right here at the top. This is going to probably be very short because she doesn't come with any extras. Uh, you can't take her off her stand. Uh, she's sort of set like it. So it's much more like a statue than an actual figure, which uh, is very surprising. Uh, Kotobuki has gone for this style of unmovable figures. See how she's screwed down to the base? So Velvet and the base are one and the same. They're not two separate things like most other uh, figures from Japanese companies. And it's a bit awkward to uh, see that, but a lot of their modern figures are like that. I'm going to put her down, and I'm going to bring you guys closer so you guys can get a 360 view of her instead of this from the top view. So I will catch you in a second. And there you guys go. She is, however, really, really detailed. As you can see, her base actually has some glitter shine to it that's sort of makes the plastic look like it's a little foggy. So like for a second I was like, holy shit, did I somehow get like a fake one? But no, it's just the glitter in the plastic that's making it look that way. Uh, it is still very high quality plastic. I'm still a little upset that I can't remove her from her stand because I do get stand signed. Um, and as I found with Red, it's not fun actually transporting a figure to a convention and trying not to get them damaged. I'm going to keep rotating her so you guys can see all the way around her. The other thing is that it just, I like the easy ability to just pack everything up separately. As you can see, there seems like, there we go, it was just a little bit of dust left on her hair on the top. She is, though, very well detailed. Um, it's not on the same level of uh, certain companies, but definitely for a Kotobukiya figure, it is very nice quality. Um, I never really had an issue with any of the previous Kotobukiya figures. Um, like Sore. Sore was actually a really nice figure. And that, that's sort of the style I was thinking they'd go for Velvet. But they didn't. Um, so if you had gotten the Kotobukiya figure from the actual Kotobukiya store, either the Japanese store or the American store, you would have gotten a little demon hand to replace this part of her with. Uh, I did not. It wasn't worth it, the money for me, unlike with my Mechleo. But I still think she looks just pretty darn awesome like this. So, this might be one of the shorter unboxing videos, and that's because we didn't really have too much to do. Um, but you guys are getting three unboxing videos today. One of which might come tomorrow, but hopefully all three come today. And this was the Velvet Crow one. Thank you all so much for your love and support, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye, everyone.